Hello, friends. I'm excited to be able to come back and to share just a thought with you this morning. Uh, I want to share a thought that uh, God brought to my mind about trouble. You see, if you're truly a child of God, from time to time in this life, you will have trouble. Uh, Jesus said, in this world ye shall have tribulation. And the Bible also says, Satan, like a roaring lion, walketh about seeking those in whom he may devour. And there is no doubt that he wants to devour the child of God. He wants to do everything that he can do to try to get us off track and to cause us to lose sight of the Savior who keeps us uh, in perfect peace and harmony. Now, as I begin to think about this, I want to share with you something that, that, that is very, very important. And I want to share with you what hardship or trouble can do to you. But before I do, I want to share a great scripture to help you combat any hardship that may come into your life. In Isaiah 26, verse 3, the Bible says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Now, there is nothing that we desire any more than to have perfect peace in the Lord. But it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. And then he tells us how he's going to do it. Thou wilt keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. You see, to stay and have that peace and harmony that we need in life We've got to keep our mind on the Lord. We must stay focused on God at all times. And then he tells us how that he's going to keep us in that perfect peace and that harmony that we need in our life. He says that he does that because we trust in him. But now with that thought, I want to share this with you this morning. If you let hardship and trouble, if you let it, it can plunge you into the darkest darkness that you've ever been in in your life. And the darkness that it plunges you in will strip away your dignity. That darkness will strip away your integrity. It will even eat away at your own humanity. But you see, you have a choice about whether or not that you're going to allow uh, hardships and troubles. Uh, you have a choice uh, in whether or not you let them do anything to you at all. You see, if you let it, adversity, hardships, and, and troubled times can make you lose contact with who you really are, with what you really are, with what you really believe in and how you relate to the world. You can allow hardship and trouble to do all of that to you. If you let hardships and troubles, uh, if you let it do it, it can, it can make you willingly go along with things and let yourself be led or pushed uh, or pulled or, or jerked along in whatever direction the darkness wants to take you to, even in directions that you know are wrong directions that you know are sinful. If you let troubles uh, do it, it can rip out your heart. Uh, it can make you want to give up on life itself. Uh, it can make you be more fragile than you may already be as you go through the hardship. If you let adversity do it, it can take away the hope that you have in your life. It can take away your dreams. It can take away your future. It can make you live only in the physical world, never considering the spiritual world at all. We must strike back. We must fight back. We must make Satan pay for the darkness that he tries to bring into our life. And how do we do that? We do that by keeping our mind focused completely on the Lord. I will assure you 
that if you will not lose sight of the Lord Jesus Christ, that no matter the hardship, no matter the adversity, no matter the trouble, that God will give you victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Father, I may be talking to someone this morning, someone who is devastated by trouble, trials, by hardships, by adversity that is seemingly eating away at them. God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that they'll focus completely on you so that victory can be theirs. And I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray God blesses you today with a great and a marvelous day.